In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who touched me? The Lord asked. All kinds of people were around him. Dozens of people were touching him. And he asked, who touched me? Why did he do this? To show the faith of the woman. But much more than this. There's many times in Scripture when the Lord says, Thy faith and heal thee, go in peace. There's many times when he's pointing out the faith of people. Why did he do it in this way? So that we would ask the question of ourselves. Do we touch the Lord? Now remember, many people were touching him, and yet the Lord only singled out one as the one who had touched him. So being in proximity to the Lord, doing things that are pious, coming to church, praying, fasting, those things don't necessarily cause one to touch the Lord. What was the difference between this woman and the rest in the crowd? They would just happen to be walking along the way of Jesus. They were following him, but they were not beseeching him for something. And they were not asking with faith for something. So the woman, all she did was touch the, the hem of his garment, and she believed that she would be healed. And she was. So it is with us, if we believe. But belief is not just to say we know something. Belief is to give ourselves over to the one we believe in. And that's what this woman did. Now I would submit to you also that Jairus touched the Lord. He came to the Lord, a man of great position, prestige, wealth, and power in society. Usually, such a man would bring a servant to go do his bidding. But he didn't do that. He came directly to the Lord because of his great need. His 12-year-old daughter was dying. His only daughter. And he loved her very much. So he came because of great need and fell down at the feet of Jesus, beseeching him for mercy. So both of them touched the Lord one of them more perfectly than the other, though. Because the woman, with just quiet faith, didn't even try to get his attention, but she knew that he would heal her if she only came close to him. Whereas Jairus, he needed the Lord to go to his daughter so that she would be healed. So as they are, as after Jairus is talk to the Lord and they're going, the woman comes and touches him and then the spectacle occurs where the Lord stops everything so that we could know how we should pray, how we should beseech the Lord, how we should live. In fact, we can ask other questions of ourselves besides the one that the Lord asked. Who touched me? We can say who prayed to the Lord? Did we? Do we love the Lord? Who loved me? Many will say they love the Lord. Many pray to the Lord. And yet, the Lord does not hear their prayers because they are unworthy. Because they are not fervent. We have to live our life with intensity, with great desire. That's what this woman did, and that's what Jairus did. Now certainly, as I said, the woman more perfectly than Jairus. But the Lord does not re require perfection of us. He requires us to desire perfection, and He will supply it. But we must desire perfection, and we must strive for perfection. Otherwise, we are not Christians. You know, I wrote something recently to all of you, that if we do not try to fast, we're not Christians, and we won't be saved. It's true. Some of us can fast better than others. Some of us fast according to the canons perfectly. Some of us not so perfectly. But if any of us do not try to become righteous, then we won't. No matter what we do, the fasting we do, 
haphazard as it is, will not touch the Lord. The praying that we do, if inattentive as it is, won't touch the Lord. When we come to the services, beautiful things will be said, and we will not understand them because we have not touched the Lord. This is not based upon how righteous you are. This is about how righteous you want to be. This is about how much you want to try. So Christianity is about is trying, is effort. God will supply the increase. As Paul says, God causes the growth. But we must supply the effort. Otherwise, we're just like the crowd around Jesus. Many of them thronging him, bumping into him, and yet not touching him. What a tragedy it would be if we come to church and we don't touch the Lord. Christianity is about touching the Lord. This woman and Jairus understood that. So Jairus had to go to the house with the Lord and then all the people are weeping and he's not sure. They go in and she is actually dead. The Lord says she's asleep. She's dead. But to the Lord, death is like sleep. To a Christian, death is like sleep. <coughs> because the Lord will cause us to arise as out of sleep. Death is no obstacle or barrier for a Christian. So, the Lord just told her to rise, and she did. And then Jairus had what he had asked for. And you can bet that he was a changed man after this. Because he saw the Lord working. But he begged the Lord for help. So should we. Now this story tells us of touching the Lord with when we are asking for something, beseeching him for something we really need. To have the issue of blood stanched or to have a daughter that is dying raised. But the perfect kind of touching the Lord is that when we do not ask, but that when we are just in his presence, it is possible. Pure prayer really is not to ask the Lord anything, but to just, just to be with Him. And that kind of touching of the Lord is, the, is what the saints obtained, and what we can too. But only if we live with excellence, only if we live with great fervor, with great desire. Every day you should be trying to touch the Lord. Every day in your prayers you should be trying to be fervent to the Lord. Oh yeah, I know. I go through it too. Day by day, some days are ones where you feel more close to the Lord and some days where you're not. Some days where your prayers are attentive and some days where they're not. Whole periods of the time in the service when you wonder what happened. All of a sudden, we're in Matins and we just started Vespers. And yet, if you continue to have effort in all of the things that you do, in your prayer, in your fasting, in your following of the commandments, you will touch the Lord. And you will receive aid and help. But only with intensity, brothers and sisters. That's what this Gospel is telling us today. If you want to touch the Lord, it must be with desire, intensity, so don't just come to church just because it's Sunday. Don't just pray your prayers because you're supposed to say your prayers. Don't just fast because, well, I guess I'm supposed to fast today. Do everything with intent and with desire. And then you will touch the Lord and He will heal you. Amen.